guys, it's Shania. Lately, I've noticed that there are two types of people in the world. Those who complain about being unemployed and those who complain about being sucked into the corporate world. But for some reason, we are missing a vital complaining stage. Why aren't people complaining about the job application process? I'm gonna take one for the team, guys, don't worry. And I am going to start the complaining session. Number one the job search. Now, I don't know about you, but for basically my entire life, people were always telling me that the job market is crazy competitive and only like three people get hired to do the entirety of all the jobs that exist in the world. Which to this I say, how dare you lie to my face? This is a lie for two reasons. Companies are so desperate to hire someone that they will take anyone off of the streets. But like in a professional way, not to be confused with kidnapping. Let me tell you about the first time I got a job. Little 16 year old Shania rolled up to this company with her resume and her mom. They took one look at Lil Shania's entire resume that basically just said she had volunteer experience at the public library and they said to her, great, you're hired, you start next week. No interview, no reference checks, just employment. The second reason this is a lie is because some jobs are just too dang diddly day specific. I need a degree in small business management and a minor in sociology. I need two to three years of prior experience on social media, but me endlessly scrolling on Instagram at 1am doesn't count. Who do you think I am? I wake up, eat, nap, eat some more, then go to sleep. I don't have time to gain experience. I'm exhausted. Number two, let's say you hypothetically find a job you're qualified for. Next comes the resume writing. Okay, y'all, I learned how to write resumes in grade eight. I don't even remember what I did yesterday. How do you expect me to remember something I learned eight freaking years ago? Also, when did we decide that resumes can be nice now? The only thing I remember from resume writing in grade eight was that your resume had to be black and white and as ugly as possible, but now we can have florals? So there you are, writing your resume, trying to impress someone you don't even know. Uh, okay. The other day I went to the grocery store with my pants inside of. I ain't trying to impress anyone at the grocery store, so why am I trying to impress someone I don't even know? In your resume, you gotta make every single job you've ever done sound like the highlight of your life. That job you had selling ice cream cones delivered stellar customer service skills while fostering connections among clients. This is me like limply typing on the laptop. My piano teacher would be very disappointed with these limp hands. Next up in our recipe for the perfect resume is just a dash of embellishing your skills. Can get ready and look put together in only 15 minutes? Works well under pressure. Is able to talk to people with it only being slightly awkward? Strong interpersonal skills. Number three, cover letters, aka Dear Hiring Manager, let me humbly brag about myself. Hi, let me write this entire letter to you explaining why I believe that I am perfectly qualified for this job that I am in no way qualified to do. One time I was writing this cover letter for this job that asked you to talk about why you wanted to work in that position and like, we live in a capitalist society? I need money to survive? I don't know. Do not even get me started on CVs. It's too late. We've already started talking about CVs, so here we go. What the heck is a CV? And why do you need one instead of a cover letter? Why are you making me jump through hoops for you? Pool time, not to be confused with pool time. Do we think these people are actually reading the entire cover letter or are they just reading the first paragraph? I once had this teacher who would only read the intro and conclusion paragraph in our essays. This is very off topic about job applications, but um, it's a funny story. So one time one of my friends wrote like an intro and conclusion about the Aztecs and then the body paragraphs were all about why cheese pizza was his favorite. And he got an A. I don't know where I was going with that story. It has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to tell you. Number four, the interview. Okay, so you did all of that and maybe now you're one of the lucky people who got an interview. Yay! You did it! Now comes the fun part. Now you have to prepare for that. You have to figure out what to wear. You gotta prepare your answers. You have to take a shower. You have to brush your hair. It's basically just getting ready for prom. I don't know about you, but I feel like not getting an interview is almost the same emotional processing as going through a breakup. Let me explain. Stage one, denial. What? They don't want an interview? Wait, am I reading this right? When was the last time I got my eyes Check. Hi, I'm gonna forward you this email. Can you give me your take on it? Do you really think they mean that I didn't get the job or is this part of the hiring process? Like, do they want me to call them just to show them how dedicated I am to getting the job? Stage two, anger. <clears throat> how dare they not hire me? Stage three, sadness. <gasps> Why don't they wanna hire me? And stage four, acceptance. You know what? I don't even wanna work there. Good riddance, Denny's. I like IHOP's pancakes better anyways. And then once you go through all those emotional processing stages, guess what? You just have to go right back to the beginning of the job application process. Don't you just love being an adult? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't really know what my arms were doing in it. Uh, apparently I just wanna dance. Um, if you guys wanna check out any of my other social media, all of my links are in the description bar below and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I don't know. 
would like you if you did. Other than that, I guess I will see you guys next time, so stay out of trouble, kids. Bye! A little 16-year-old Shania rolled up to this club. To this club? I was not applying for a club. Yikes. Delivered stellar customer mix customer now 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 now